YouTubians and fellow hobbyists. Welcome to another episode of Card Dreams in Styrene. I'm your host, Gary Chi, and these are the topics of today's show. The Riddle! La Impala! Plan B! Cutting round shapes! Can you guess what that actually is? The answer? The end of the show! Here in the garage we had a little bit problems with the firewall but after a little sanding that fit perfectly. Of course our chassis needed some paint and abracadabra there you have it. Next was casting some nice rims. The rear axle needed some cleaning as well. Time to glue the differential together. Although it's a lot of fun to use your airbrush, little parts, I still do it most of the time with my paintbrush. Cleaned all the parts, I was ready now to do the paint job. I painted the whole car silver. Then cut the tape in the right size. And glue the tape on the car. Paint the whole car in the real color and then you have some silver stripes. That's at least the plan. On the trunk I used a real sharp hobby knife to get those contours the way I want it. Since the real color was blue, I painted the whole thing now blue. Now, carefully Pull away the tape and you have some silver stripes. Oh no, the silver pulls off. No, even dapping my thumb on that makes the tragedy not better. Okay, now it's getting ridiculous, even on the front hood. Oh come on, no. Even the blue paint? Oh no! Okay, before I'm gonna freak out here, go back to the studio. This week, this week, I wanna talk about what you're gonna do if you screw it up. As you just saw in the previous video, I screwed that up, like big time. Well, we all have our visions, even if you do just like a box stock build, you have something in your mind, and even if it's just, it should look just exactly like on the box. And if you go crazy with scratch building, you have like this vision. So, now and then, you just don't achieve it, or you know, you screw something up. Especially paint, to me, 
it's always a, 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 a little bit of a, a rest risk, risk there, you know. You know, if you have a little bit of higher humidity that you had like last time, or it's warmer, it's colder, and I'm not even going to the whole chemical, pro chemical processes with paint. Well, I see it that way. You have like three choices if you screw something up. First, you just drop it in the trash can. Second, you just bite like a bulldog and don't give up, you know, you just want to do it. And the third is you have a plan B. Well, the first is not even an option. Even if you screw it completely up, you know, you always can use it as a dummy, you know, just like for a paint experiment or whatever. So never drop something away. Second, well, now and then it makes sense to bite for it and fight for it, you know, that you have what you want. Now and then, though, you might just make a slight different direction and see what it comes. See what I do with this build now. Maybe it gets better. Okay, after I watched some YouTube videos to calm down, I sanded the whole hood and the roof and the trunk and started from scratch. For my wheels, I um, took measurement on a real tire, brought that on foam rubber and then cut it in size. Contact glue was applied. Ready is your tire. For the paint job, I took simply grandma's old curtain, laid it on the white surface, and painted red over it. A little red fog on the sides make the paint job perfect. But after some test fitting, I was not really sure about those tires. So, I took the original ones and aged them a little bit. This kit comes with nice decals for the seats. And on black, I just thought it looks fantastic. I love it. So it looks like we still have a happy end to the paint job and also to the seats. Now back to the studio! This week I want to talk about getting round shapes out of styrene, which is for some people still a big problem. It's of course more difficult to make a round than a straight shape. Well, of course, there are some different devices like this punching thing here. Of course, they also have it that way. If you want to get a little bit bigger, you can use this one here. You know, it's kind of like a thing and a compass and cut it out. But if you say, I don't want to spend that money, how can I do that? Well, there is a way. You either have a compass, if you have not even that, then you might have at least something round. <laughs> and you just take the shape of that round thing and bring it on styrene. And 
and that what you then what you're gonna do is kind of cutting out as close as possible to the line Then you're gonna cut the corners. Let's rush a little bit here. All that you have to do now is take your sanding stick and get rid of those last little corners, which is not too difficult. And if you take a little bit more time than I do right here just to show it, then you get a pretty much good thing here. Looks like that. This is the tip of this week. Did you guess what it actually was? Another episode of Car Dreams in Styrene is gone. We learned a lot today. We learned, screw up, but maybe make something better out of it. I hope you liked it. We also learned some basic, how you make round shapes without have some fancy tools. I hope this time you could take something for yourself out. And as always, love and friendship, something you can't buy. Respect all people and keep that hobby Alive. See you next Saturday. It just kind of drove me crazy. <laughs>